Yo, what is going on, boys? Asians and Station back with another video. Today's episode, we got... Okay, the BM, bro. We got some games against Hoopin. Very, uh, chill dude. Fun to play against. Always, uh, down to just, you know, have a good time and spread good vibes. So, let's get it. That's what today's gonna be all about. You know, getting a content. I'm excited. We're practicing for the World Cup that's coming up. There's a big BTD Battles 1 World Cup type tournament that's gonna be um soonish so i'm looking forward to that oh i forgot the spots over here for that okay um yeah it'll be a great time he's probably surprised i'm not going whiz i'm expecting him to surprise emo no nope, just the swag he's very um emote happy if you will but it's all right man we're gonna leak a little bit more than him huh not by too much I, I, we take those we take those gonna play this passive probably are we both gonna dude this isn't good, because Hoopin has insanely good micro, so if this does go late game, I feel like I just lose. But at the same time, it'll be good practice for, um, you know, practicing that late game micro and whatnot. Round three plant, that should be illegal, bro. Call bull tricks, man, that should be illegal. Okay, I don't know the targeting to use on this bad boy. We're just going to hope first handles for a while. Again, haven't really been running dart much, mainly been focusing on my whiz strategies um but i am thinking that you know i want to get my dfa a little bit better so that's the plan okay similar leak still nothing really too different here except he greets a little bit harder than me here and he's gonna outfarm me but hopefully we'll get some good leaks on him since he only has a zero one dart i'm thinking we'll be pretty successful here but yeah we're just gonna play some games for about 30 minutes or so roughly speaking um and then just kind of see, go from there, you know, after the games, I'll kind of evaluate and, you know, see where we went wrong, where we can improve and stuff like that. Here comes a rush from our boy Hoopy. We're going to go ahead and get a trip dart. But once we get this trip dart, we should be smooth sailing, I believe. Oh, never mind. He's kind of come with the aggression here. So I'm going to go for a third dart, put this on first. I think this should handle. He's trash talking my third dart. It's fine though. We're chilling. And now I think I hit him with some greens here because he's going to probably go for a plantation any second now. Let's see if he goes for it. Going to try to bait a spolt maybe. That would be great. We'll do some layering over the top. Oh, he goes straight for the spolt. Perfect. I'll go for my farm here. And now we start saving up for our spolt as well. Now I will be honest. I was one of the first people to use this spot down here as opposed to the normal like joke spot right here. But I like this spot a lot better. I don't know. It's just, it's just preference, I guess. Um, but like it works better with like how I target my darts and stuff. So I'm all right with that. So you just sold something? His farmer, I believe. To get another farm? How does that? Okay. Just moved his farmer fair. He's slight out farm on his end. He's low on lives though. So I want to exploit this. I want to send some rushes since he is low on lives. Let's see if this baits a trip dart or something. Because AI is kind of difficult on this map or on this round because there's a lot of regions. So it looks like he handles. Well done. Well done. Now, the bad thing about this is it leaves me... Oh, he's leaking. Leaves me susceptible to leads. He didn't send regions though, so we're fine. Let's get this up. All right. And we're going to get ready for a spolt down here. Put these on strong. My hands are a little bit chilly, so the micro might be a little uh, off for like targeting these. Um, oh my god, I actually bought whatever it's called. Razor sharp darts <laughs> on my spolt. You hate to see it. And we're doing fine. I mean, like... This is totally fine. He's gonna he's greeting really, really hard. We're just gonna send him a heavy eco rush here, I think. Let's see what he does. He's going for that. We'll just send him a balloon boost. Oh, the rainbow is way too expensive. That was not the play. We get a boost out of him. That might kill actually. And that's why this jug spot's better. Oh, is he good? Oh my jug's on er, that's on first. Oops. We're fine against this, by the way. Don't even fret, boys. Don't even fret. All right, we're going to send him a rush. We're going to sell this dart so we can keep rushing. This is going to force ODS, I believe. Nice. Very good micro as well. But this is good eco for me, so I'm all right with this. Is he dead? Nope, he's good. So he's doubling our farms, so but we have good eco. So it's not the end of the world. Um, I think I go for one more farm here. And we can get ready for our rerush. He's going to try to... Let's see... I think he def I think like infinite ceramics gets by this. It's just so risky because he just needs like one trip dart on strong. He's probably fine. But we're gonna try a rush here anyways. He's gonna try to BIA, I think. Nope, he's not. Okay. We're just gonna get this on last. Get that. He's sending ceramics. 
Maybe I send him the same. I'm gonna boost here. We're good. He's BIAing. I'm just gonna Bloom Boost Ceramics. I think this might kill. Yeah, GG. <laughs> you greedy boy. Greedy hoopy boy. Oopsie. Oopsie. I've been seeing, I know the optimal darts or boat spots on this map now. You want one here and you want one here. Those are the optimal placements. Um, that's something you should know. You're gonna start with a boat, so I am also gonna start with a boat in that case. You wanna place it right below this swan right here. Perfect. He's placed his a little bit higher than mine, but I think mine's gonna be slightly better. And placements are pretty important on this map. I will say, he's gonna rush here. And put this, uh, I don't know eco numbers. I'm gonna guess 257's good. And I'm gonna go for my farm. It's it's very greedy, but YOLO boys. Cause one banana and an eco boost and I can afford. So I'm just gonna spike this and let's get the grape shot. Come on, come on, come on. Clutch up grape shot. We're gonna leak a little bit here, but so is he. I don't know if he used spikes or not. Also, this is a little bit aggressive on my end, but it's fine. I think leaks are going to be quite similar. Yeah, very comparable leaks. Fair enough. 128. I burned a spike. I don't know if he did, though. But he's about to leak here. Oh, he's getting the grip shot. Okay. So very slightly, like, different strats, but, like, not super different starts. I don't know. I feel like there's so many different ways you can start a game. Whereas in, like, Battles 2, it's just, like, the same. Everyone, like, mirrors each other early game. There's Whereas this is, like, so much more precise, I feel like, and specific at times i don't know i don't know now i'm kind of like just saying words out of my mouth okay i'm gonna keep sending because i think getting a plantation like halfway through round five is still fine here and we're just still gonna get some leaks on him so by rushing like this it's playing like a little bit more aggressive sure he gets up his plantation a little bit before me but the thing is i'm still getting my plant here right the only problem is he's gonna have more money around six so yeah he's like down 50 more lives than me He's using that as his second spot. He's going to Bloom Boost Blacks probably. So I'm just going to get this up right away. Probably just get this up to a Grape Shot ASAP. We'll put that on close. And he's playing very... I don't think greens here are like ever the play, but I guess he's trying it out. We can spike this. That's fine. And now we just full cube Blacks until he gets up a 1-1 Boat is really the play here. We have that on close, this on close. He might try to do the same, but the thing is, I can afford to leak so many more lives than him, which is going to allow me to play, like, even more aggressive, whereas he's going to have to play super, like, kind of tight and secure, I guess. So he can't really go for a farm here, I don't think. Oh, yeah, he's got the 1-1, but that's fine. So I, I have the eco lead. We're probably going to be tied in farms here because I didn't spend 400 on my faster shooting. So now this is when I come in with Asian Swag Station. Get that up. He might send yellow, so I don't want to go for my 1-0 farm yet. But I'm going to do it anyways, actually. I can afford it in a second. We can rush him around 9. But, I mean, it just forces a mortar. I don't know how worth it that really is. Because I do want to get this plantation before... Um, before around 11. So we're going to go for this. He's going to send a rush here, surprisingly enough, when there's, like, no AI coming. This is probably just a boost spot. Yeah, we're just going to boost that. That's totally fine. If he wants to be aggro, be, uh, be my freaking guest, boys. Because now you're not going to have money around 11 to really... Oh, he has Boomer. What the heck? Okay, never mind. Now I just play it safe here. Kind of reserved. Get ready. We'll put this on strong. And get ready to destroy her up. Is really the plan here. If he does decide to rush, we destroy her up. Destroy her up. We're going to go for that right away. And this should handle. We'll put you on first now since he's still sending. Should be no problem whatsoever and we are indeed good we can go straight for signal flare ain't gonna play no games we ain't gonna play no games and let's catch that nice perfect 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 so now we just expect like hard aggression from him we have a few options we could mix eco this but i think just playing passive is completely fine here you know force defense where we can because he's gonna try to farm right now uh maybe i'm trying to bait defense oh he's gonna rush me huh Okay, that just defends. You gotta send so much to do anything here. That just defends. I don't care. I don't care. That just defends. Bad rush on his end. So now we just farm. Oh, he went for his farm. We just get a free boost out of him. I don't know why I blind boosted, but this should be a free boost. Yep, he sold his farm too. That's bad. You really want to do one or the other there. You don't want to sell your farm and boost. Might as well just sell your farm. Or not sell your farm and boost. Excuse me. We're trying to rush here. We're in a very good spot here. I'm going to go for this. I have, all, I have two boosts still, which is great. 
See, maybe that farm is greedy, but oh well. This is just an easy mortar micro. This just defends with, yeah, these, these rushes aren't very good. Cause like I can just mortar micro all this, you know? Very, very good. And this is when we swag on him again. He has to keep rushing though. Cause like if I get a, yeah, yeah, it's just wraps. He's pissed. <laughs> I think, I think I just get around 18 BIA here fairly safely. I think that's the play too. I think that's the play. He only has one farm. We can go for Crow's Nest, that's fine. Do I go for the round 18 BIA? I mean, like, I can. Totally can. Is it optimal though? I think it works. We're gonna have to defend his shenanigans round 18, like his Moabs with ceramics layered over the top, but just getting up double destroyer will help us a lot as is and that's kind of the game plan for now we are gonna have to worry about ai leads around 19 so that's gonna be kind of an issue i'm just gonna go straight for this we ain't gonna play any games here we'll put one on first one on strong and then the grape shot things should handle this put these on first now and we go for bia very very greedy but i think it'll pay off he just sold something so he's probably rushing okay um i'm actually gonna go like this Let's go for this. I think that handles, right? Yes, sir, baby. And I have this for round 19 leads, which is super, super nice. We're gonna send him a little rush here because he knows too, he knows the AI leads are coming. We just get instant T-boost out of our boy here. We're gonna need a second Bernie as well. I may have to boost here because of bad targeting. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I think we're good. I think we're good. We're good, trust. Very nice. He's selling a farm, so he's probably all outing. We just saw uh, cash out here. And we just boost this. Very good timing with AI leads, honestly, but it shouldn't matter in theory. We're Gucci, I believe, I believe, I believe. Yes, sir. And that is how you just play a nice, clean defensive win. I sold my farm because I'm actually kind of scared now. I can't tell if we're like defending or what's happening right now. But the thing is, he's dead AI, so GG's. Okay. That was fun. GG, man. I wonder if it's ever worth it to sell my submergent support. See, like, this is just so bad. I don't think I can boost this, man. I can't boost that. How did they not defend? What? What? I literally saw that defend everything. So annoying. I literally saw that defend everything. Why not just boost, boys? He still doesn't know our third. Dude, hooping, you're throwing content. All right, we're not including that. He just dies to AI. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to drop a like below. Hit that subscribe button on this next one. Peace.